Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file, and they've got a vector cutout of the item. But they want to vector cut out the inside of each letter. This is kind of easy, but it's a little tedious. I've set my nudge factor on 11 inches. I'm going to get my Smart Fill tool, and I'm going to fill in all the spots that need to be. And you can kind of watch to make sure that you get them all. Like we've already probably got that one. So need the two O's and probably the V and that right there and that right there. Of course the A, I think we got everything. Nope, need that right there. All right, there's not really an easy way to do this, but what we can do is you just have to do this right here. Let's just select it all, put no fill, and we're going to use a black outline. So now we've got the parts that we need to contour. And I don't know, I think I've changed my nudge factor. I'd like to get it about the same distance off that as that. So let's use the parallel dimension tool. I keep moving mine. I moved it in a video the other day. There it is. I showed somebody how to move it. Didn't ever put it back. No, that's 2.1. There it is. Parallel dimension tool. And go from that node to that node. And we're 0 0.09 away. So we're going to contour all these 0 0.09 to the inside. So let's take our go to effects and contour. The good thing about this, you only have to do it, set the settings once. <laughs> and by chance, I've got 0 0.09. But we want to go to the inside in red so we'll know it go to apply now i'm going to go ahead and nudge them over as we're doing it take that one well you know what we need i forgot to do we need to select it and break the contour apart and then just grab the inside one and go left now, I would take this one and nudge it to the right. Take that shape, arrange, break, break contour apart, nudge that over, nudge that back. Apply, arrange, break contour apart. And when you grab the center, you're grabbing the smaller one. I'm going to just do one more because I think everybody's got it. Let's do... Uh, this one right here, the larger one. Go to range, break contour apart, and put it there. And of course, take this and nudge it out of the way so you won't do it again. Let's just do a couple more. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Break contour apart. And you could make your contour smaller on the inside if you wanted to. Whoop. So I'm going. I'm just clicking my my right and left arrow, and you could hit Control K and break it apart. But that way you get a contour on the inside of the letters, if that's what he's wanting. Even the B's, you can't do two at a time. He just won't let you. So it's a little tedious. Break contour apart, grab the inside. And by having it red and black, you know that you've got the right one. One more and we'll quit. So I would just do that to all of them. And then, of course, he had this in the picture. I guess it's a cut line. So, and I, don't, I can't imagine him wanting to do this. Uh, I don't, if he does, it'd be the same way. 
you can just use a smart fill tool to fill in that spot. But on contouring, these little bitty hair dashes are going to give you a little bit of a problem. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.